gears and spun around to fling him off. I feel like I could fake it. And then you flung him off and immediately ran him over and like spun your tires <laughs> on him. Um, and so we were both kind of in shock, which resulted in us hitting several other people <laughs> before the uh, before getting onto like the highway. Um, and while we were on the highway, the traffic slowed into like a conveyor belt. So all of our cars were one by one on like a conveyor belt. Okay. Saves um, on gas. Uh, where all the cars were being served some covered plates. Uh, is that some covered plates of food? Yeah. Uh, one of the performers. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what the- by, okay, yeah. We were being served by one of the performers from the show. Like Whoa. covered plates of food in our cars. Yeah. Um, so we dished the car to go eat the food. And uh, you ditched the car to go eat the food. Yeah, it doesn't it's a it's a nonsense dream, Matthew. Um, and we went to go eat it at like a, like just below the conveyor belt on the mm. other side of. So the conveyor belt led into like a factory, which is where we were served our food. Ah, yes. And then on the other end of the factory, once we got back out, we sort of dished the car and went to this like garden party situation where you, there was like a, like candles and tables set oh, up, romantic. and you could go sit at like well, no, not tables for two, but like group okay. like a like an outdoor wedding. Okay. Um, and so, uh, uh, yeah, so a garden party style dining area. I didn't have a glass of water at my seat, um, <laughs> uh, but there were unlit candles that were the same type of glass. So I dumped a candle so I could have some water. Yeah. Um, but no, it was not a candle at all. It was a scorpion. You got to pay attention. And everyone had scorpion in their glasses. Ah, the end. <laughs> So you never got your water. Never uh, got my water. Now the can you saw it was it was a candle, and then when you it dumped was it, a it turned into a what it was a scorpion all along. Yeah, and then I guess like oh it was a candle, but no, when I dumped it, the wick was actually the scorpion's tail. You set him free. I set him free, and then I look around. And it turns out there's candles, there's scorpions in everyone's glass. What like people nightmare. are having martinis and different things. There's a scorpion in all of them. And then I'm like, whoa, whoa. And everyone was like, ah. Oh, so they were where they wasn't just like they looked at you and you were the odd man out. Like, no. This is normal, Sebastian. No, no, it wasn't You're normal. It was here. like once I realized that there was a scorpion in my glass, I looked around and suddenly everyone had scorpions in their glasses and they were as shocked as I was. Okay. And then I woke up. Jeez. I don't even. <laughs> and we could follow you for a bit in this story. Uh, it seemed like it was all kind of connected to conversations we've had. But uh, we we haven't talked about scorpions in glasses at a wedding. <laughs> no, no. Nor did we but, talk about uh, dismemberment and yeah. Body like where does the mutilation, mutilation come in at like a crooner show? Like I was so thrown off by what the concert I thought was going to be versus yeah. what it was. Huh. And uh, I don't know why we're running Donald Trump over with a car, and then you're. I feel like you. We. I kind of brushed this over, but like you ran Donald Trump over. <laughs> And then we were like, oh, shit, we got to get out of here. And I guess all of a sudden you lost your driving skills. And so you were just like, ah, and you hit like three people on our way out. To the I'm highway. pretty sure that was intentional. Because if I'm already, if I've already hit somebody, it's like, well, this is my chance. I'm not going to be able to do it again. <laughs> What's well, one or five? It doesn't matter. Let's go. Um, I, and I was impressed that you had a European sports car. Yeah. That, <coughs> excuse I, me. It's okay. I'm, I was uh, impressed that you had a European sports car. I'm glad you think so highly of me in your dreams. Mm. Um, <laughs> to run people over. Yeah, I wouldn't feel right about driving on the left side of the road. Well, no, we were driving on the correct side, yeah. but you were on the opposite side because it was a European style car in North America. Yeah, still strange. Yeah, uh, and then stranger still that we ditched it on the conveyor belt. Where was that conveyor belt leading? Was it was it- like it was up. It was high up too. Yeah. You know, like sometimes you get on a highway and it's like you know five stories up or whatever. And then we went to a factory and remained five stories up on that conveyor belt. And somehow we like just got out of the car and like jumped down five <laughs> stories onto a grassy area and it was fine. It does sound delightful. There's leave a lot out of the, dream logic going on here. Yeah. Leave out the scorpions and I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think that th- this 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 uh, dream means? Uh, let's say you, you thought you were going to get something and you got something else and you didn't like it. Mm-hmm. So maybe uh, maybe that's some of the burgers we've had. Okay. Uh, maybe some of it was just uh, too mutilated. Maybe some of the... The, uh, the burgers we've had. Yeah. Um, maybe the Buffalo Bills. That Ooh. was too mutilated Buffalo Bill. We know his character in Sons of the Lambs. He mutilates yeah. some people. Uh, I... <laughs> 
Sorry, I don't really know if I've ever talked to you about my my dreams of manslaughter uh, and, and killing fake Donald Trumps, but uh, that's got to be something. That it wasn't Trump, a real though. Donald Trump. It was just a no, Donald that's Trump true, impersonator. That's true. Yeah. Maybe I didn't like that he was uh, impersonating. Well, he was terrifying when he jumped onto the hood of the car when Sounds we were like trying to get away. Mantis man? Mantis man. It was like, is he jumping up like a, not a human would jump? No, no. He was just like he like he didn't want us to get away, and he like leapt onto the hood of the car, like you're not driving away. Oh man, it's even scarier that the so kids scary. the kids stopped the car. It's like they got us to come over and look at this. Exactly. Stuff. It's like it, they're, it's, it's part of him. There's a setup. There's something going on, man. Maybe it's all one being. I think I feel like that's a little bit of alien alien yeah, stuff going yeah, yeah. on there. Uh, yeah. But I think maybe that's just you know the the world can be a scary place. People can trick you, but. We're gonna we're gonna get off of this conveyor belt that we're on, this uh, this path that we're being led on, mm-hmm. and we're going to just take a chance. We're gonna jump, yeah, and we're gonna end up in a pretty good place. We're gonna have a pretty good time, but but no scorpions, but scorpions, ah! yeah, fail. Uh, that that part of it is where we we made a mistake. We run into an error. Well, that's interesting because my initial interpretation was I, I probably wanted a glass of water and woke up. Yeah, maybe if you if you just been, the end part is what I, <laughs> I latched on to. You were thirsty. Yeah, maybe probably you thirsty. Had hydrated before bed, mm. the scorpions wouldn't have been <laughs> there, and we would have seen something else happen. Yeah, maybe they would have just been candles. All right, well, write down more of your dreams, Sebastian. If I, if I remember them, it's very rare that I wake up and remember anything at all. Yeah, and so I took the opportunity to write this one down. Good. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll do the same. I try to yeah. sometimes text people. When I wake up and they were in my dream. That's weird too. That's a, I'm sure they get a weird text. They, at oh, they get such the weird night. texts. They usually aren't this long of a story, but it's usually just as disjointed. I go, I'm sorry, this is so confusing. I just like texting people when I have dreams because I almost never remember them. That's it. I'll leave you with this. <laughs> sorry, Grandma. <laughs> um, and sorry to have woken you at four in the morning. <laughs> well, the thing is, I'm usually waking up when people are like, in the middle of their work day. <laughs> so in the middle of their work day, they, they get like this fucking another text weird from dream text. He just woke up again. Yeah. <laughs> got another <laughs> weird ass text from this guy. <laughs> what were we doing? Haven't spoken to him in five years, but yeah. he had a that, dream of me. That's totally a thing. That's totally yeah. a thing. I've, it's like people I have sometimes not seen in years. I'll text them and be like, and then we were in a tank. You know, like just some random, random stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> are you... Uh, uh, are you ready to write your burger? I think I am. Yeah, I think I am. Are you, Matthew? I am ready as well. All right. What are you What are you giving Saint-Duchon uh, well, in yeah. Le Cour Morial a Peruvian burger? Uh, if I liked the burger, I would have given it a seven. Are you saying you did not like the burger? I didn't really like it, no. But I feel like it's 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 my fault. I didn't like the burger. It was good. But I... It wasn't for me. It wasn't a burger for Matthew. Mm-hmm. And I feel like other people might think this burger is seven. I would I would suggest it to someone else and say this is a seven burger. But if I'm rating it myself, I'm going to only give it a 5.5. 5.5, really? Yeah, start it off as now, I was that, eating is it. Is that, Matthew, off. I, I want you to factor this in. Yeah. Is, it, is the score being lowered by the fact that you feel... Um, Fooled into eating most of a tomato slice. No, I'm 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 overlooking that part of it. Okay. Though though, however nightmarish it was, I've I've gotten past it, and I, I think it was just that the burger started off good. I liked it. It was starting off maybe at a seven five point five, but as I got further in, I was I was not feeling it anymore. I realized. Did you say taste. seven five point five? <laughs> seven. Yeah, I forgot the decimal at one point. So oh, okay. Seventy five. Seven point five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, it started off higher, but as I ate it, I realized that the things I thought I liked, I did not. And by the end, they were taken oh. away from the burger taste. I didn't really want the sausages and the sauce and the uh, little hickory sticks, which I was never really a fan of to begin with. I wonder, I'm not a huge fan of hickory sticks, but I'll take a, like a, a handful. You know, if there's a bag, I'll take a handful. Um, I, I wonder, because I was watching you eat this burger... If I think I, I feel like I watched your shift in attitude on this burger, and it was probably around the time that you discovered the tomato. But regardless of that, you were you know the burger started falling apart, and you just would let it thud out onto your block of wood, 
and piece it back together and let it slip out again. You you stopped caring while you were eating that burger. It was just kind of like, let's get this over with. Oh, what a mess. Who cares? And you suggested I use a skewer, and I did. But you and were you gone, did. and I just impaled it, harpooned it, and yeah. uh, stuck it in my mouth, finished it off. Not not in the traditional sense. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> so Matthew's sticking with a 5.5 5 yeah. on San uh, uh Salchi Burger. Um, I think I'm going to give this a, a, a an even seven. All right. I was thinking maybe a little lower, but no, I'm giving it an even seven um, because I really enjoyed basically all of the elements. Um, I wasn't blown away by most of them, but they were all good in quality. Aside from the patty, that was still not bad. It was a thick, you know, decent beef. It tasted fine. It was just the texture of it felt a little off. Um, I feel like that's not enough to drag that score that much lower it was a good burger um those those yucca fries were so unique and different and the the taste and texture of them was so different that i think it's worth visiting this place if you've never been yeah if you find your place uh yourself uh in the underground city of montreal this this uh, uh bull bullshit tourist trap um because <laughs> it is right like tourists keep i get i meet tourists all the time we're like oh, yeah. What about this underground city? I'm like, it's just malls that are connected. It's a bunch of different malls that have hallways in between them so that when it's goddamn cold in the winter, you don't have to go outside. And they're like, like, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. but you can, buy, you can buy underwear and vending machines, right? For, you know, worn underwear with pictures because of the Because it's the, the underground ladies. city? Because it's like, the underground city. It's not like... It's, it's not, not like, like the... the, <laughs> the, the Japanese underground city. It's, well, like there uh, was, there was like a legend of an underground city in like San Francisco because they had that huge uh, uh, earthquake. I want to say in the twenties that swallowed mm-hmm. up like whole blocks of town, and then they built things up again. And there was like a a legend of like whole buildings and like alleyways and stuff existing because the whole area fell underground. Yeah. So if you could get into the tunnels, you could find whole buildings and stuff. But no, it's nothing exciting like that or fascinating or terrifying like that. It's just malls. It's just malls. You can go to buy some lingerie and a pair of shoes, get a pretzel, uh, 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 get your watch repaired, uh, go to Saint uh, uh, you know, and buy a video game. Yeah. Maybe there's an even more secret or deeper underground city. It's underneath all of the tourist uh, attractions, there's... Now, that I'd like to see. Yeah. So, um, next week, Matthew... We're going to look for this place? We're going to look for the underground yeah. city. And, I mean, if you think you think they'd have a spot in the underground city to get lunch? Oh, for sure. People got to eat. Even even creeps got to eat. Even, even those, like, uh, mole men got to eat. Yeah. Um, so, do you think we sh- we'll get lunch next week with a mole man? But what do you think we should eat with said mole man? I feel like it's not the first time that we've we've said we will get lunch with a mole man. <laughs> uh, I'd have to do some research. Last time we got, <laughs> last time we we did get a burger, uh, and I feel we just stick to what we know. And for sure, in that that mystery underground city, they've got burgers. So let's get a burger. I never remember memories 